Hi guys, this is Ashish and welcome to developerhut.net. So today we are going to look at the newly date time API introduced in Java 8. So before moving to the Java 8 date time API, let us just first understand what is the issue with the older API. So the first issue with the older set of API is the package ambiguity. So for example, um, if I declare a date object and let me try to import. So if you see here, when you are trying to import uh, this particular class, you can see there are multiple date classes available in multiple packages, right? So it is a very ambiguous that and it's always confusing which one to use. Should I use java.util or should I use java.sql or any other package if you have. If you have any other libraries included inside your uh, application then and if it contains the same date class so it, it will create a problem it uh, you don't know which one to use so uh, the package ambiguity is the first issue with the older API so I will say so the package ambiguity so ambiguity in package selection now next is this API is little bit of weird so it's not easy we can say so for example if I just print this API so sys out I just print the date object right and let's try to run this program so here you can see it is giving me the today's date right so here uh, you can see uh, this date class is providing the day the month year right and the time and option it is also additionally providing me the time zone right along with the year but if you observe this carefully this is a date class if I asking the date why are you giving me the time right so the in terms of flexibility and the representation this class is little bit you know uh, weird because if I want only the time then in that case I need to uh, you know do some other provisions right so this is the another issue with a date time API uh, the next is this date class is not a thread set this is the another issue so if you are running your application in multi-threaded environment you have to take certain precautions so that your application will behave in a correct way the next thing is if you want this date to be in specific format then in this case you need to use the simple date format right so simple date format class is required so that if you can alter the representation of the date right but if you see this carefully simple date format is not from the same package it is from java.txt package right so to format the date we it, required the additional package to be included so this is also one of the um, drawback we can say in terms of the older date api then next is the time zone it is bit difficult to handle the time zone in case of this older api so if you want the date to be in some other time zone then you need to make some additional provisions so let me explain this with the example so for example right now uh, i want date in some other um, let's say in other time zone so here uh, we can see uh, this is the issues with the older date time api now let's actually move ahead with the new set of apis so i'll just remove this and so in, in the Java new date time API, uh, we have a lot of classes. So I will start with the local date, which is available in a java.time package. So there is java.time package, which contain all the date APIs. Okay. So now let's say if you want a date, uh, so I, I will declare a date, local date is equal to new look. Uh, there is no new here. So it's a local date. Right, local date dot I want current time so I will say now 
okay and i will just uh, oops there is some issue so, and let's try to print the local date right so here you can see you get the date right so i only ask for a date and it is only giving me a date so no time if you want time only time then you can use local time right so local time is equal to local time dot now and just i print it local time if i just run it and i can see i'll get a time but what if i want both date and time then we also have a provision here so local date time right so local date time is equal to new uh, it's uh, local <coughs> date time dot now and i will just this out so local date time right so let's run this again and you will get the local date time right so i also have a date along with the time it's in machine readable format but yes both are available now suppose if you want a specific time then we also have a method for that so i will create so local date okay so specific local date is equal to so we have a off method available off where you can easily pass the uh, you know year and month and day of the month right so i want let's say 1976 month will be let's say 12 and day of the month is let's say 23 okay and i will just sys out this so specific local date and let's try to run this so if you run so you can see the 23 december uh, however how you be sure that this is the december right so if you if, if you still see here and confusion because in our earlier version of date api uh, the month is started with a zero right so your actual december will be in that 11 right so if you want that so what we can do is uh, it's we also have a enum so i'll just copy this and we have a month enum in java.time api right and you can select that particular thing and if you run this it will give you a actual same date right so 23 december 1976 so uh, you can see it's very easy to uh, you know uh, identify what uh, what parameters that you are passing in now here if you see the question is whether this date is correct or not or if you want this date in your format then how we can do this so in simple way we also have a date time format so date time formatter which is in java dot again the same package java dot time format so you can use date time formatter so date time formatter is equal to new it's um, yeah it's a date time formatter dot you can use the get you can use the you can use the off pattern right and you can pass your pattern so i want this in um, uh, i will say yy or i will start with the dd and i want mmm and i will say yyyy -Y -Y -Y. so i want date to be formatted in this format and you can simply uh, print it out so there are multiple ways you can do it so you can use the same local date here and pass the format right so you can just format say format and pass the date time format or object and it will print in that particular format uh, so here you can see it's very simple um, now let's say if you want this uh, date to be uh, also parsed right so let me just um, extract it to local variable so control one extract to local variable and i will say str date right so i got a date now if i want 
this string formatted date to be converted to the object okay so it's very simple in this case also so you need to get the local date uh, i will create new variable so parsed date is equal to so i have a local date dot we have a uh, you know a method which is parse method is available where you need to just pass the uh, string date and the required formatter that you required right so dtf so date time formatter and if i just this out so parse date sorry it's uh, parsed date right i just save it and just run so here we'll get the date object local date object back right so here you can see how easy uh, it is to you know convert a date to string uh, in a required format as well as parsing the date from string to actual date format right so this is also one of the biggest advantage i can see uh, it's very easy uh, to uh, manipulate this object now next is the uh, the time zone so let's say if you want to work with uh, the other specific time zone for for your uh, date classes right so java 8 provides a new specific set of class for that so we have a zone date time okay so zone date time is equal to uh, zone date time dot i say now i say sys out and zone date time so this zone date time class will provide you the current zone so we uh, if you use the actual now method so it will just get the current time zone and it will print it so you can see here it is giving me the date the time and the zone what is the time zone now let's say if you want the time uh, date time from some other uh, zone right so in that case it is also very easy so, as, so for zone date time for specific zone i say zone date time i say central i want zone or uh, time zone to be a central eastern okay so eastern is equal to um, i will use the local date time okay so local date time uh, also contains some methods so first we will take a now so i have this local date time dot now this is the current time and you can uh, see here we have at zone method okay which will take a zone id right so i say zone id dot i have off particular zone and i will say cet central and eastern right and now you can just sys out sorry sys out uh, here you can just print and just save so here you will get the time zone of central eastern right so you can see how this is easy uh, also if you want uh, to know what is what are the available zone then zone id has uh, you know all the required information so you can just simply uh, say for each i will just include the for each um, for each right so i say zone id right so zone id dot get available zone ids okay and i will say zone and you can just sys out the available zone okay so from here you will get all the required zone ids which is available right so this is uh, how we can use a new data api with available zone so uh, so if you think this uh, valuable information please uh, do like this video uh, share and subscribe thank you